What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Charles One Man back with another Marvel Spider Man video. This is episode, I believe, 14. I believe, yeah, 14. Been a long time since I've played this game, man. Now, I have no clue what we're about to do. I might do a couple, um, you know, side things before I go to this mission. Now, I do want to go get some collectibles. Change my suit as well. Look at all these new suits. That Stark suit is looking nice. Gotta get it. Now I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna complete this full game. This is too much. Spider bro. That's the only thing I like about Tom Hot Spider Man, bro. He he has so many things for him to need help. Unless I'm just complaining, bro. Y'all let me know in the comment section below. Who's y'all favorite Spider Man? Mine says Toby McGuire, Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland in that order. Got some new gadgets. See, like, bro, this first game was way better. Gameplay wise, though, the second game is better. I need to stop spoiling it when I record it and then we'll get into all that. Got a new skill point. Hey, MJ. MJ. I ain't gonna lie, bro. MJ gonna be old, old in the third game. Like, imagine how old Peter is now. He's like at least 23, right? In the second game, he's about like 20. He's he's near his 30s. So in the third game, he's gonna be in his late 30s. He'll get a book bag, you know what I'm saying? It looks like the new suit that was in No Way Home. See, I know what that suit looked like. From the angle I'm seeing it, even though it's a Stark suit. about Sable International. Let me see. They're an international security firm, usually hired by governments to end revolutions or start them. The last thing we need is a city full of trigger-happy mercenaries. Whoa, social media is blowing up. They're setting up checkpoints around the city, doing random stop and frisks. This is crazy. No, this is Norman Osborne feeling threatened. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? <laughs> Me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know, I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hmm. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. that room before whoa what the thing high voltage lines what needs this much power I understand but 
The account number is in Mr. Mead's That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. I thought Lee's parents abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who threw you away? Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Looks like this note is for May. Lee's journal. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. Lee sounds conflicted. Almost like he didn't want to head down this path. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. Oh, I see. What are you hiding, Lee? I can feel my power growing. Feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. This is all about Norman Osborn. His whole career. Lee must have been obsessed with him. He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon, until he became one. Folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Creepy. Phew. It's a burn room. Wired to destroy evidence. had found this on May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. <clears throat> now, how do I 
get out of here. Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Hold on, just trying to catch me lacking. Wow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, Mr. Negative got. Is these even people or like. Who are these type of people? I don't even know. Broken to pick up by a visible person based cold. He did that without his suit. Now you know he ready to start some evil stuff in New York. Hey, doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. You ready?
Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. Uh, add Corp to that, and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world.
was Doc working on with this? Beautiful. Looks like another potential prosthetic contact material. Hydrogel IPN. This looks promising. Bet it'd be a great tissue interface. Hmm. What was Doc working on with this? Great conductivity. Not sure about long-term wear and tear, though. Might delaminate easily. Doc was testing the biocompatibility of graphene. Great. Pretty high cytotoxicity. Not sure I'd use this as tissue interface. Running tests on carbon nanotube biocompatibility. Decent candidate for a direct tissue interface, but I feel like we can do better. Hmm, graphene. But the structure is super unique. What is this? Awesome. It's been nano latticed. Wow, that's strong. Could be a great structural element for a prosthetic.
Doc's messing around with superconductors. Very cool. Complex oxide ceramic. Perfect type 2 superconductor. It'll run hot, but maybe good for an outboard controller? Some kind of polymer. This is awesome. A self-healing polymer. This stuff will survive almost anything. Damn it! Why do I keep repeating the same mistake over and over? Norman Osborne cannot be trusted. In matters large and small, if Norman has the chance to profit off another man's loss, he'll take it. It's infuriating. Neural interface would be a big step, Doc. Big, yes, but essential. If our prosthesis is anything less than effortless to use, we'll have bailed. 